done this, but uh, Pleasure Beach vlog, uh, yeah, anyone who knows me knows that my family loves theme parks, so season's drawing in. We're coming to the Pleasure Beach to enjoy late night riding. I've got a big man with me, um, and yeah, we're gonna go and ride some rides. So with an appetite queue time of 45 minutes, we're heading to Nickelodeon Street, just behind me, in Nickelodeon land, here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. So that was a, probably more like a 30 minute queue and so now while we're in Nickelodeon land it's be rude not to go over to Avatar's Airbender, the uh, spinning disc ride. Let's go! So after going to Chessington earlier in the week and we were like, yeah, 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 Cobra's loads better than Airbender because it's got the extra section. But actually, after just riding on Airbender, we think that it spins faster than Cobra. Um, I'm ready to be proved wrong, but I'm sticking with Airbender. I'm going with it. And now off to Revolution for the most intense and thrilling ride experience of your life. <laughs> We tried to get an icon um, because Oliver is right on the limit, but he was just, and I'm talking, a pair of socks might have done it. Um, just too small for icon. So let's go on Big Dipper because it's next to it. My favourite things about Blackpool Pleasure Beach is the little cubby holes because it is so ride intensive and everything's sort of on top of each other. Some of the best views of the coasters are actually in random places. Like we're just at the Big Dipper exit here and we're just going to see Infusion come down here. Well, it wouldn't be a trip to the Pleasure Beach without a go on the flying machines. So that's the end of our night in the Pleasure Beach. We've had a few laughs, a few, ridden a few rides, and yeah, pretty happy. Flying machines in the background there, whizzing itself around. And uh, yeah, so thank you very much for joining, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>